folks, we have a situation here in Charles Village where we've noticed a man park in our car park for at least a week. He comes in at 7.30 in the morning, leaves at 5 in the evening, doesn't even come near reception. He thinks that our car park is a free-for-all. Here's the story of that man. So here we see him on Friday morning, 20th of February, exiting his car and walking out. Here we see him on Thursday morning, mask over face. Here he is on Wednesday morning. There he is exiting his car again. Here he is on Tuesday morning. Again, exiting the car. And here he is on Monday morning, exiting the vehicle and going left. We have a better view of him there. Hans' car is currently parked out there at the moment and Rather than clamping him or blocking him in, we're going to give him an opportunity to come up and resolve it. We're going to put a letter on his windscreen. So now I'm going to place this letter under his windscreen wiper, which cannot be missed, saying, Dear guest, we would be very grateful if you could come to reception desk to discuss the parking of your vehicle before you leave the premises today. When the man comes back to his car, he'll do one of two things. He'll either come up to reception and pay what he owes, or he will take the letter, put it in his car, and drive off. If the man drives off, my Jeep will be waiting. The Jeep is there, and if needs be, it will just slide out to this position. Yeah, I don't think they'd be able to get out of that. He has one to three opportunities to resolve this before he gets blocked in. So Carl and I will sit in my car and uh, the car, as I said, ready. Oh, really? Carl, that's him. That's him. Oh, he's moving. Bullard. He's taking the letter. Started his car, we don't quite know what he's going to do, but if he moves, I'm going to move as well. He is moving and I'm moving too. Okay, so I'm just going to stop there now. How are things? You might want to just pay a visit to reception if you don't mind. Sorry? Would you mind just going up to reception? Sure. You had a letter there on your windscreen. Thanks a million. He goes straight in. Heading up to reception. Here we have one sign saying car park to be strictly by residents only. Then we have a sign here saying no parking. Then we have a clamping and operation release fee, 100 euro. Is he? Yeah, he's on CCTV every single day. So as you see there, folks, uh, the man is refusing to pay, so I'm going to leave the Jeep there. Then we see the man talk to another gentleman who is parked beside him. The two gentlemen return to their vehicles, as if Mr. Audi will get out when we let the SUV driver out. However, I don't delay in blocking the Audi driver in when the SUV driver leaves. So he has just paid, so I'm now going to move my car.